WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Three hours left to go in the trading week as we come into the holiday Christmas week. And quite a market we have right now, folks. S&P's positive by 17 points, trading at 32.22. We got the Nasdaq up 38 points, trading at 89.26. Dow Jones positive by 125, 28,502. And the Russell positive by six points, trading at 16.73. As we start things off, let's jump over to the VIX this morning. As you would expect, all the markets, besides the Russell right now, but all of them reaching all-time highs. The VIX hovering at around 1235. You can expect very little volatility unless we get a surprise out of nowhere before the end of 2019. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start things off. Started off with the S&Ps. Quite an acceleration. Even from just 730 this morning, we were at 3210. S&Ps make it up to a high just about an hour and a half ago of 3228. Looking at the March futures contract, currently trading just off that level 3226. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of volatility right around the opening bell, spikes up to 8722, currently trading 8710. Dow 30, 28,505, as I mentioned, just off the highs we made at the opening bell of 28,521. Crude oil trading a bit lower this afternoon, crude trading at $60.30. You get the gold contract trading at 1481 right now, had reached a high of just above 1484 on a couple occasions earlier this morning. And the euro US dollar, we're getting some dollar strength, euro weakness, euro trading 110.69. In terms of what else you have happening out there, fundamentally, we got third quarter economic growth unrevised, 2.1%. That number coming in at 8.30 a.m. this morning. Boeing with a couple negative stories today as their Starliner spacecraft may have failed a key test flying into the wrong orbit at a time when Boeing could use some good headlines, not exactly what they're looking for, and the pain continues as United pulls the 737 MAX from its schedule into early June. It is December. That's a solid six months that United will not be flying that aircraft. In terms of what else, we come into the end of 2019. Pretty banner year. 27%. The S&P was up coming into today, and we're approaching on the S&Ps more than a half a percent in the positive. Wrapping things up, to highlight it, Boeing on that news down about 1%. Nike with their earnings last night, but down about 1% as well. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes at 1, Dave White at 2, Tom O'Brien at 3. We'll be right back, folks.